So I want to talk, uh, to talk about the environmental ship index. Um, so um, we in Hamburg believe that um, a clean port starts with clean ships. Uh, but how to know um, if a, sh a ship is clean? Therefore, the Port of Hamburg, together with five other ports and in cooperation with the IAPH, the International Association of Ports and Harbors, um, we developed 10 years ago the Environmental Ship Index, uh, ESI. The ESI gives us um, a tool um, to measure the environmental performance of seagoing ships, of all seagoing ships, don't matter what type, don't matter what size. Um, this tool was unique at that time, is still unique, um, and it was developed from ports, for ports, which means that um, our interests um, as ports are respected by 100%. Um, this tool gives all ports the opportunity to develop um, a framework to attract clean vessels. Um, it's up to every port. Um, it gives every port the freedom to develop um, the framework um, to his own needs. So um, every port can here act differently, but all based on the same um, indicator. CSI provides four uh, is a is a score from zero to hundred. It provides four subscores: one for nitrogen emissions, one for so uh, sulfur emissions. Um, so sulfur emissions contains um, particular matters as well because particular matters are rela related directly um, to the SOx emissions. It also contains a score for CO2 and for the uh, the use uh, the installation of onshore power supply. These four subscores give also support the opportunity to develop um, specific, uh, specific framework um, for their needs. So if a port has issues with, with nitrogen uh, emissions, he can um, rely directly on the NOx subscores. Um, if uh, OPS is something he wants to, um, to boost, he can rely on the uh, OPS score. If I look, at the um, development in Hamburg, um, I have to say ESI in Hamburg is a true success story. Um, in 2011, we started with a handful of, uh, of vessels um, with an ESI score above 20. Um, and in 2019, we had already more than 2,500 calls of vessels which has a score above 20. Why above 20? Um, the Port of Hamburg um, decided to give incentive for every vessel with an ESI score above 20. This is not uh, this is a common um, framework. Um, other ports use um, 30 as a threshold. Um, other ports give incentive for the best 25 vessels for, um, with the highest score in the year. So, as I said, every port can decide um, differently to its own um, situation and depending on the vessels calling his port. So in 2020, we have a decrease um, due to Corona. Um, this reflects also the decrease in, in the number of total calls. And for 21, we are um, very confident that um, the number uh, of ESI calls um, will rise again. But what else um, does ESI provide for us? Um, if you look to the right side, um, we had a change, a, a real um, increase um, in the average ESI score for, for cruise vessels, for passenger vessels from 2019 to 2020. We in Hamburg did a lot to attract clean cruise vessels. We installed an onshore power supply station and doing a lot of other stuff. And here we have the result. And we can demonstrate that our efforts to attract clean vessels, clean cruise vessels, are successful now. And this helps us in the public discussion um, tremendously. So we, are, we do not only talk about that we are doing something, we can, we can demonstrate that our efforts are successful. And this is really helpful in the public um, discussion. So for us, Port of Hamburg, we, we think um, ESI is really a good tool um, to help us in, in our um, efforts for sustainability. 
and in our public discussion. And in the end, we believe um, that um, CSI uh, CSI helps us um, to keep our license for operation because public is in the end who decides if we can operate in the way what we are doing um, and how we are doing it. If I look at the ports who are using ESI, um, ESI is a real worldwide system used worldwide. And I see that the majority um, is in the Northwest. But if I look in the Indian Ocean region and in Africa, I see only La Réunion, Port Réunion, who, who is using um, ESI. I had the honor um, to, help uh, to help to implement ESI at, at Réunion. And I know Port of Réunion is a real um, front runner for sustainability. But I'm really wondering um, if the other ports around in, in this region um, do not care about um, sustainability. I don't think so. Um, so I'm wondering why other ports besides the front runner Port Réunion don't use ESI. Maybe it's a lack of information. That's why I'm here, that's why I'm happy um, to tell about, to share information. But also maybe it's why um, um, what ESI is providing is not, uh, does not fit perfectly to your port. And here I come back um, to my beginning. ESI is from port for port. So if you have different needs, different interests, you're welcome um, to discuss with us and we will um, uh, respect that. To show that um, ESI is still under development, um, I show you the, the actual discussion, discussions in ESI. For the moment, um, we have the ESI, we call it now on board, um, about NOx, SOx, CO2, and OPS. We want to develop it um, to ESI 2.0, um, with more emphasis on, on greenhouse gas emissions, also on the use of alternative fuel. And um, we want to develop a, a, a model we call at birth, which means um, we will um, measure um, the emission in your port at a certain port code. And um, that's something we believe in, in Hamburg um, is um, more of interest for us um, to have a score or an index um, of, of the real um, uh, states in our port. Uh, but this is under discussion, uh, um, same um, for ESI noise. So we as port of Hamburg are uh, port in the middle of the city uh, and noise is a really hot topic. So we developed together with other ports um, a framework to measure no uh, uh, the noise of vessels. And we integrated it in, into ESI, ESI noise. And now we know we have a tool to know um, which vessels are, no, uh, are silent and which vessels are noisy. And now we, can, we have a tool to attract silent vessels and to talk about um, this noisy vessel um, about measures to reduce the noise. And um, this is what we, um, uh, how we influenced um, ESI. And ESI, again, is open um, for all these discussions and for all these needs. And I really think um, that port in the Indian Ocean and um, in Africa um, have a high interest in, in attracting clean vessels. So if there's an interest, I'm really happy um, if you contact me or other people um, um, of ESI and we're happy if you want to join because in the end, shipping is a global thing. And it's not um, dedicated to North Europe or, or to, to uh, USA. It's a global thing, and only if ports stay together globally, um, we have the power to, to change it. Um, so, so far, in short, um, in a nutshell from me about ESI. So, any questions, I'm happy to discuss. Thanks a lot.